weather has had many of us finding any way to get inside and stay inside. But tonight, a few good Samaritans are building up and are bundling up, pardon me, and answering the call, helping to keep people safe. Our Skylar Salas tells us of a new program in Winchester, Virginia, that's gearing up to lend a hand. Who are you going to call when it's snowing? Well, hopefully Winchester Snowbusters, a new program dedicated to helping those of the community when it comes to snow removal. It's very important to have those sidewalks cleared in a timely manner. Um, but we didn't want to, you know, we didn't want to enforce those rules without at least providing some opportunity, particularly for the, the elderly and the disabled, uh, to get some assistance from their neighbors. The program consists of volunteers being sent out to different parts of the city to clear sidewalks for residents who qualify for the service. Since its creation, volunteers have helped over 124 households. A lot of folks uh, do it with their kids uh, just as a way to get out, uh, you know, learn some lessons about responsibility and Good citizenship. Tony Landa says helping with shoveling snow not only keeps people safe, but is a way to engage with the community. Uh, obviously, it's really helpful to the people that can't do it, right? Because because otherwise, you know, it just wouldn't get done. Um, but it's great for the community on a number of levels. One, I think that you know, keeping the sidewalks clear is great, keeping people safe, making it easier to walk around, um, but also just building that sense of community, I think is a, a really important part of it. And for residents who rely on the service. It's very, very important because, you know, it's very dangerous to shovel at after a certain age, or you could be younger too, you know, so that I'm very appreciative of the program. Now, the city of Winchester also tells me that they are always looking for more volunteers to help out with the program. Reporting in Winchester, Virginia, Skylar Salas for DC News Now.